a number of various sizes of tractors. We have a few uh, vintage old uh, tractors. These are both 1941 Model 32E Fairbanks Morris diesels. Well, this is the Lake Atasca Region Pioneer Farmers Showgrounds. Uh, we have been here for the past 14 years. Before that, we were at Bagley for 14 years. A few of us have been going to uh, other shows back in the 1950s, 60s, and early 70s. And with the coming of the bicentennial year in 1976, a few of us decided that we would try to stage an old-time thrashing show to coincide with Bagley's celebration. We went ahead and did it, and uh, the response was so gratifying that we've been doing it ever since. During the day, we have music played at different spots on the grounds and in our main auditorium during the afternoon. Uh, different groups will come up and perform for a period of time. Then beginning at 5 o'clock tonight, we have half-hour segments of specific groups who will be performing until 7.30 when our regular evening gospel music show begins. And that will probably continue until roughly 10 o'clock. And then if there's still people sitting in the auditorium, there's still musicians that want to play, we'll have a gospel jam session. Starting our uh, daily parade, and we have a number of various sizes of tractors, uh, some crawlers, uh, vehicles, and other parade items that we'll be passing in review. And uh, we have uh, a, f a few uh, vintage old uh, tractors. We have one large crawler tractor. We have a couple of smaller crawlers and some old uh, old trucks and cars and, and things like that that will all be passing by the uh, reviewing stand.
not an organized group. And uh, I, I, I'm just the host of this group here at Itasca. And it's, it's just it's one of these things like Topsy that just grew. Um, we started out just with myself and my, my boys and my wife exhibiting some hot air engines and then others joined us and now it's gotten to the point where it's uh, quite a good size. 1858 Ericsson uh, open cycle engine. And what was it used for? Well, the biggest use was in, in the printing industry. They were a great engine for running printing presses because there was no danger of explosion with them. And, uh, mm. and the size of the cylinder is what? Well, it's 12 inch bore. 12 inch bore? Yeah. Now, um, are there any of them being used anymore? No, no. Um, this is the only one that runs in the whole world. Only one in the world? Yeah. Okay. The well, rest of them are locked in, uh, in uh, state museums in Europe, and of course they're not run. Yeah. So there are some in the museums in Europe, right? Four of them. Uh, there's one in Stockholm, one in the Deutsche Museum in, in Germany, and then there's one in England. I've seen that one, and then there's one in, in uh, France. So they are... You'll never find a one that runs except this one. of the club here and I also watch these Fairbanks Morris diesel engines and uh, my main job is to start them up for people and uh, just make sure that nothing goes wrong if something starts to go wrong I just shut them off and uh, basically just explain to people about the engines yeah they they were out of a power plant in Boston Minnesota they uh, there was a three, a five, and a seven cylinder engine. The seven cylinder's been scrapped. These are both 1941 model 32E Fairbanks Morse diesels. Uh, 75 horsepower per cylinder, so the three is 225 horsepower. The five is 375 horsepower. The five cylinder, if it was, they're not generating any power, they're just running as a display. But if the five was generating, it would be uh, 250 kilowatts and the uh, three would be 148. Huh? No, 250 from the five and 148 from the three. Well, Boston at the time was probably about 1,500 people, so I would guess around 750, 800 homes. And then they had a school, several churches, uh, there was a milk plant, you know, a big creamery there, and uh, there was uh, two, three elevators at the time, uh, flour mill, so there was quite a few businesses being powered by it as well. This is a 20, 25 horse that I am standing by right now. We purchased it about three years ago. It's about 1915 vintage. They come out of West Virginia. We, they were used for pumping oil out of the ground. All three of the engines in the building were. And there's still some of them working to th today out there. The one that I'm standing beside here right now is a 25 horse. Yeah, they go up to a 40 horse.
made out of uh, mashed potatoes. We mix it with butter and flour and uh, salt and sugar. We cool it, then we have to cool it in the refrigerator so it congeals. And uh, then we just bring it out of the refrigerator, we roll, we uh, bake on the griddle, and we cool it down and sell it. Well, get a piece of dough on there and you roll it until you roll it thin. When you get through with it, you're rolling it thin, then what do you do with it? I wind it up on this and I put it on the griddle. Yep. And what are you doing there now? And I'm turning it because it must bake on both sides. You fry it on a on a uh, left side griddle. How's business day? Good. <laughs> business is good. Shingle mill was used to belong to our neighbors way back in the 1930s. They got it and, and uh, they sawed a lot of shingles back then. But they, when the Second World War came along, they quit using it and it was never used after that. And uh, about 1954, we bought their land. And then about in 1975, when this show started up, we were members of it, and we were looking for something old to use, so we, we uh, thought, I wonder if that old shingle mill would work. It was sitting out there in the pasture, and the wood was all rotted off on the bottom, and things. Well, we dug it out there. We had to cut some popple trees off for about that big around that were growed right up through it, and uh, we just fixed it up a little bit, and, and so for these three days out of the year, ever since about 75 we've been we've been coming down here or we weren't to Bagley for a while when the show was there and then they moved down here and I task the park well, we for about three days out of the year that's the only time we do it Okay, the, the Leverson steam engine is probably the most uh, significant uh, historical piece in Clearwater County because it worked in Clearwater County all these years. It sawed lumber down on Long Lost Lake and, uh, until I think about 1957 and then uh, some uh, collector from North Dakota had picked up the pieces from it and uh, my wife's uncle knew the man and uh, he uh, let us return the pieces to Clearwater County and set it up here for, uh, for our show. Uh, what is your name, sir? Uh, 
Uh, my name is Gerald Fenske. I'm one of the co-owners. Je Jenning Sunderland is the other co-owner. It's my wife's uncle. How did you happen to uh, become interested in this? Uh... My wife's uncle, Jenning Sunderland. Uh, he needed uh, he needed a partner who knew how to weld and uh, put the thing together, and uh, he was a he was a diplomat who uh, who got it, and uh, I basically uh, put it together for him and, and run it for him. It was all in pieces. It was uh, luckily all the pieces were there, so we just had to. Uh, it was just a puzzle. We had to uh, think it out and put it together. Real good information in the Leverson uh, Sawmill building. Uh, there's some photos of it in, the, in actual operation on Long Lost Lake. Uh, there's some real encourage everybody to go down there and look in the building in the museum, the Leverson uh, Museum.
involvement it really started with uh, the sawmill that my father used to own from uh, 1952 to 1972 and uh, that's uh, the state is the property owner of that now. The uh, sawmill is an uh, early 1900 uh, circular sawmill originally in Park Rapids and uh, my father had purchased that same mill in 1944 and uh, brought it up on the west side of the Mississippi here. He and his brother uh, were in partnership at that time and then uh, in 1951 my father, uh, Roy Hemrick, he, uh, he bought property where the mill stands now, and uh, in 1952, that's when the mill uh, started operation here, and he uh, did salvage logging in Itasca Park. So it is uh, every uh, August, third Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of August, and uh, our, uh, really our hopes is to have uh, continuation of younger people to uh, be able to be involved and uh, understand uh, the history of uh, of this area in logging and farming. I am